Hello everyone. Welcome to the CRM Essentials course. In the last lesson, we learned about customer pool. In this lesson, we will be learning about contacts. Let's take a look at contacts. We use F1-5 to represent the identifier of this feature set, contacts. In the glossary, a contacts refers to the database of individuals that a company maintains for sales, marketing, or customer service purposes. These contacts include details such as names, email addresses, phone numbers, company names, job titles, preferences, and any other relevant information that can be used for communication and relationship building. You can see that contacts include the following main features, add contact, search contact, view contact details, edit contact, archive contact. Due to the complexity of the logic involved, we need to describe the relationships between the entities. This will be very useful during the development process. When programming, developers will need to understand this. Lead, customer, and contact are the three entities. You can see that there is a one-on relationship between lead and customer, while there is a one-n relationship between customer and contact. This means that one lead will be associated to one customer, and one customer will be associated to multiple contacts. So how are these entities associated? We can set it up like this, when creating a new lead in the lead management page, you can input a contact, represented by blue step 1. Then, when the lead is converted to a customer, which is step 2, a contact will be automatically created, and this contact will be mutually associated with the customer. Another method is to create a new contact in the contact management page and then select the customer it is associated with. This will associate the contact to the customer. We then use Xmind to draw the data structure. Duplicate the customer's sheet. Rename it F1-5 Contacts. Modify the title to Contacts. In the Basic Info section, we need to add a contact name. Remove customer types and industry and add an avatar and an owner. Adjust their order as needed. In the Source Info section, we'll remove Channel because it's already included in the customers. Then, in the Status Info section, we only need Is Key Decision Maker? This refers to the contact person who has the authority to make purchasing decisions for products or services and requires our focused attention. It has three options, Null, Yes, No. In the Related Modules section, remove Contacts. Keep the others unchanged. Contacts will be associated with these modules directly or indirectly. Next, we will create the prototype based on the data structure. Duplicate the Contacts folder. Then delete the Customer Pool page and its branches. Modify the page name. Remove customer level. Ada is key decision maker. Change contact to position in the search option. Then add a department option. Delete move to customer pool. Change the new customer to new contact. Then modify the tabs. In the table, change customer name to customer. Ungroup all rows. We need a contact name column. Change its text to a text link style. Add an interaction to link to the contact details page. Copy and paste the link to other elements.
Move Customer column. Next, Create an Is Decision Maker column. Change the content of the rows to Null, Yes, and No. Change the last two columns to Position and Contact, respectively. Then adjust the positions of the columns. Group the elements of each row. Then go to the New Contact page. Change the title to New Contact as well. Add an avatar label and an upload button. Change customer level to customer and add a required symbol. Then enter the options for the customer's name using letters. Move customer tag, channel, and customer type. Adjust the positions of the elements. Then copy and paste a is key decision maker from the contact management page. Copy all elements from this page and paste them onto the edit contact page. Go to the contact details page. Change the page title to the contact name. And change customer level to customer name and purchase count to position. Add a department and an is key decision maker. Finally, add a last follow up date. Change the Customer Details tab text to Contact Details. Delete Contacts. Add an avatar. Move Customer Type and Customer Tag. Then Delete Channel. Next, modify the interactions. Go back to the contact management page and change the open target of the edit button to edit contact. Copy and paste the interaction to other buttons. Go to the edit contact page. Move the open link action from the submit button. Go to the customer details page. Delete the Move to Customer Pool option from the Operations panel. Then change the Notice text to Archived Successfully. Also change the Notice name to Archived Successfully. Delete the Reason panel. Go to the Frame page. Add a click interaction to the contacts navigation. Open the contact management page in the inline frame. Preview the prototype. Click the contacts navigation to display the contact management page. You can click and select options from the drop-down list.
You can switch tabs. Click the New Contact button to open the New Contact page. Click the Submit button to display a successful notice and return to the previous page. Click the Edit button to go to the Edit Contact page. Return to the previous page. Click on the customer's name to display the customer details page. All other operations should also provide the expected feedback. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and share with others. Thank you.